of that, 85% of them receive full funding from wherever it is that they choose to go to. So that's what we're best known for, but something I wanted to, to point out is that as somebody who sat down and physically read every single page of over 460 applications this fall, not all IB programs are created equally yeah. by any means. Um, I actually work a lot with Maryland, and to give you an example, there's a really huge public school in Baltimore that has an IB program, but you're not, <laughs> you're not getting the level of guidance and attention that you're getting from here, and so I'll see these kids that have been in IB classes for, you know, junior and senior year, and they've got C minuses in them. Pull them from the curriculum, put them in AP, put them in honor, put them in something else, and so... Yes, I get excited when I see IB, IB classes on a transcript, but there's more to that. We do a lot of research about the type of school, where those students are going, the guidance involved in that, and that's reflected ultimately on the transcripts. And so to have access to a school with IB and as much guidance as you do right now, that's something that not a lot of people have. So I guess take advantage of it. Yeah, and, and the deal with IB before, like I said, schools for the most part that offer IB are your upper St. Clair's and schools like of, of that ilk, okay? Um, IB recently tried to expand by offering it to schools in urban areas. Now, Pittsburgh has had IB for 30 years. They had it at Shenley and now we have it here. Um, so we've always been kind of unique. And at Shenley, it was a, it was a magnet program. Mm -hmm. But um, and, and like what you said is happening a lot. IB offers it to these schools and they offer it to the schools. So give us money to put IB on your school. Thank you for that. Good luck to you. Uh, and you know, and I, I think that's somewhat unfortunate. So it's not like that the IB standards have gone down by expanding the program. It's just that it's offered more places now. Okay. Yeah. The admissions counselors, what do you look for in the application? Um. Shooting out is difficult to quantify because we literally do read every application page. Yeah, that's why I asked you said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we really do give kind of a holistic view to applications, but make no mistake, we are competitive. So like, sometimes people hear that and then they're like, oh.